Okay, take two on this. Uh, I've um, been fiddling around with getting uh, the OpenXR stuff done, and now I'm done with that. So I get to try the uh, new force feedback joystick for real. It's now installed in the pit. It sits pretty much in the same place where the old one did. Uh, it's got the same height. Um, just to show you some of the functions, I fired up uh, MI24. I'm just using the regular screen. So right now it's configured to spring back to center. So you'll see that I move it and it will spring back. It comes back to the center point. But if I want to do force uh, trim, I've set this button up, uh, the brake lever, right now. So I push that and I can move the spring, it'll stay, I'll let go, and there it is. Now it's back to being spring loaded in this position. So for a takeoff, if you look at the controls indicators, I can move it back to the normal position for hovering, let go, and it'll sit right there, and then I can do. With this, it's brilliant. I can um, move it in, I can dial it in. In the Huey, I can almost uh, hover hands off and do other things while it just sits there. And this is really touchy, so just a small little two fingers on it, you can control the hover really nice. And as you transition, you just do hover, trim, and go back to the center. Really, really nice. I like it. So, short video. Um, hope you guys enjoy it, and um, I'll start cleaning this thing up because now I know it works. Take care. Have a great day. Oh, I forgot one of the most important things. Trim button. I got the trim button set up. Uh, a lot of helicopters doesn't have the trim button, but the MI-24 does. So by moving this, it will actually move the stick and the trim of... See, it will come back. And uh, the joystick itself will move with it. So it's really nice. So you can fine tune the uh, joystick with the trim button as well as the force trim if you want. So you can keep going like that or like this. It will come back by itself. Really nice. So that's it. Take care guys.